Oh, I think I'm lost. Where am I heading? I think I need to go back and tell you. So, this is the way to go to Jebel Shaps from Muscat. We were picked up by the drivers and by the resort where we had a booking. It took us around 3 hours to cover 250 kilometers of distance and saw some local houses on the way and they seemed tempting. I really wanted to explore how they look from inside. While in the car, I had a feeling of Muscat being grand and majestic. And driving through the mesmerizing rocky hills was quite an experience. Almost felt like we were in a different world altogether. It wasn't like the Middle East we know or we think of. It's totally different. Oman is blessed with this untouched natural beauty. And listening to local songs gave me the feeling that I was close to the local culture which I always fascinate and love. In Oman, you would be happy to see an interaction with locals because in tourism industry you would see that all the local people are involved, which is a beautiful thing. And then we enjoyed this bumpy ride and it reminded me of my hometown wherein we have similar kinds of roads so I felt very close to this place as well. This road leads to Muscat and here I am in Jebel Shams. Interesting place and behind me you can see the resort at a distance. The place around is um, around this area is not so green but yeah it's, it's nice for this kind of place in Oman. Um, looks like barren land but you can see some vegetation around me especially there. This was my home for two nights, I would say two cold nights. And we are here. This is the dining and breakfast and lunch area. I liked it. And some traditional seating arrangement. Great. And time to see or meet someone special there. And then waiting for the sun to say goodbye.
So what would you do if the temperature is 200 degrees Celsius? We do this 